So this is the desk that I am working on. You can see we store all kinds of things underneath it and on top of it. So hopefully I'm going to be organizing this. You can see there's just some stuff thrown up there. But the big project that I'm working on is the desktop right here. Um, now what you can see, sorry, I'm sitting in my husband's desk chair, so you're probably going to hear that. Um, so it had, it had this edging on it and a big piece of it broke off. So all along here, that edging is missing all along that front edge. And then even the desktop itself is kind of like chewed up and kind of worn away. And you can see this is real bad. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing is I have this lightweight spackle that I had left over from another project. I don't know if this is the best thing to use. I'm really not sure, but I have it. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to try putting a coat of that spackle all along this edge just to see if I can smooth it and level it because like right here where that edge is still there you can see that's thicker and then it kind of drops down to this part so I'm just going to try to fill that in even it out smooth it out then I've got some brown spray paint it's on the other side of the room and I'm going to paint that edge um, and then what I'm going to do on the desktop I mean, you can see it's just scratched. It's pretty well done for. And originally I had thought about maybe just painting that also. But then I got this. Let's see if I can unroll this here a little bit for you. And so it's basically like a contact paper, but it's really thick. It's really, really heavy duty. And it's got a really nice glossy finish which I think is going to make it really nice for cleaning up anything that might spill so you can see here it's basically just like a contact paper and it's got it's kind of like a a marbly or granity looking surface with just different shades of brown so I'm hoping <laughs> that this is going to work and that it's going to look really nice um it is, I ordered this online. I can't even remember where I got it from exactly. I'll try to put it in the description box if I remember. I think I got it on eBay. Um, but it, it's actually in two separate pieces. You couldn't buy just one big piece. You could only buy, I don't remember the size of the sheet exactly. So it's going to have a seam running down the center but I think it should be okay because that's where like the keyboard will sit. So I don't think it's going to be very, very noticeable. So I'm going to get started on this and I will check back in and let you see what it looks like after I get some of the spackle on and we'll see how it does. Okay, so I've got the spackle on. It looks pretty messy, especially right here because that is the spot where as I was bending down to clean up some of the spackle off the floor, I stuck the top of my head to the desk. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like I said, it looked, it looks pretty rough. I put it on pretty thick. Um, in most places I can, I mean, there's still a few spots where you can like see the desk underneath it. Um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and just leave it like this for now, let it dry and then go ahead and try to sand it down. And then I'll be able to tell if I need to maybe touch up a few spots um, or anything like that. Um, it says it's fast drying. So it says it's ready to paint in 30 minutes. It might take a little longer than that to be dry enough to sand. So we will just see what happens. So I'll be back to check in again. Okay guys, so here is the top of the desk. Um, I did the spackle. I tried sanding it a little bit, but this spackle said you did not need to sand it. And apparently that means you cannot sand it because it was just too soft. It would not, every place that I tried to sand it, it just kind of crumbled and peeled off. So 
I ended up just getting it as smooth as I could and then I kind of left it, but you can see it's pretty rough. <laughs> it doesn't really look very nice. This is the front edge. So in the future, I may end up trying something else to clean that edge up, but I'm going to go ahead and put that adhesive that I got, like contact paper stuff on here, and we will see how that turns out. Um, what I did is I, I had some brown spray paint, so I sprayed that over the spackle just to try to make it blend in. I mean, you can see like chunks of it are falling off when you touch it. Um, so what I may end up doing is maybe going and getting some of that edging, that laminate edging. And there is some of the laminate edge from about here back to the corner. And then on this side from about here back to the corner. So what I could do is just pull all of that off and then just put a whole new laminate edge on. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna do that, but in the future, I would like to do something to make that a little nicer. But while I was spray painting the edge, I went ahead and just over sprayed onto the top a little bit um, because it had some really rough um, uneven spots and it still does. I mean, it's just particle board. It's not wood, it's not fancy. But I thought maybe having a little, a little light coat of spray paint over this might actually help the uh, contact paper stuff stick a little better. So I'm gonna get working on that and We'll see how it turns out. I will check back in with you. Okay, guys, here's what I have so far. I'm about maybe two thirds of the way done. Um, what I thought was gonna happen is this was in two pieces and I thought I was gonna be able to put it on and have a seam down the center and just put one piece on that side, one piece on the other side. That did not work. So what I ended up doing, you can kind of see the lines here is I did one sheet just down the center. So I centered it there, put it along this edge, and it runs down here and to the back. So this is one full sheet here in the center. Then I took the other sheet, I cut it in half, and I was able to run that half this way. So that's that seam that you can kind of see a little bit right there. And then I ended up with these little awkward triangles so I did this little triangle and you can see I messed up when I was trimming the edge and I <laughs> tore that to pieces. So I'll have to be doing something to fix that because that looks pretty bad. But so I've got a little triangle there. I ended up with a little triangle right here and then a little triangle here, which is not sticking. So I think with the exception of this one here, because this is at the front and this is kind of the area where we use the mouse so I feel like the mouse would kind of sit here so your arm is going to go by that triangle so hopefully it's going to stay in place is what I'm trying to say but overall I really like the way it's looking I think this is really going to dress up his desk and if I can get some kind of edging to put on there and, and finish it off, I think it's going to look really good. So I'm going to finish this last side here, and then I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. All right, so here is the finished desk for now. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to do something about those edges because I just don't like the way they look. And you can see wherever there was like a curve in the edge, wherever I had to trim along those curves is where it kind of just tore up the paint and everything. So I'm gonna try to come up with something that I can put around that edge. And I'll be honest, this this contact paper stuff that I bought, it's not great. Um, it's actually not, it's not adhering very well. I'm kind of hoping that if I leave it for a few days that, that maybe it'll get a little better, but especially on this side, for some reason it, it keeps like I've run over it with something and like you can even hear as I'm running my hand, there's still like it's releasing from the wood and not really sticking like it should. So, you know, um, I got this, I did get this on eBay. I went back and looked and I paid like, it was under $6. It was like $5 and something for the two pieces. So it wasn't a bad deal. I'm just not a hundred percent thrilled with, with how it's 
not sticking very well. Um, you know, but it certainly, let me back up here and let you see the whole desk. It certainly does make the desk look nicer than it did because the top of that desk before was just so worn down. And then I've kind of got things cleaned up up here a little bit. I've still got that tray that has a bunch of stuff in it, but you know, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> so that, that is what the finished desk looks like.